welcome to this out of the ordinary video demonstration a banana <laughs> and today I'm gonna be painting this banana with oils starting with underpainting for underpainting I'm using burnt sienna and we'll show you my reference For today's session, I will apply burnt sienna for shadow parts. And the second session will be color. Looking carefully at my reference. And applying Burn sienna to the shadow parts. Thinking about tonal values. Thinking about what is closer and what is further from me. All the curves. All the tiniest shifts of values. Everything should be considered and taken into notice. I will be also using a mall stick where I can rest my arm to make more precise brush strokes. Of course if you can do that without it i'm really happy for you my hand needs a uh, resting this is part of banana where this stalk starts and the fruit part starts and it has a little shadow area So the tiniest notions of some tonal shifts I'm doing it here. It's like working with the graphite in monochrome thinking not about a chroma or color just tonal values of your subject which is very nice and relaxing for the first stage not to think anything you're just taking your color and doing the work it's easier especially if you don't know how to or where to start and make this underpainting and you will be much confident in the further steps okay, this part is gradually going into light like that also some shadow notions so I can see right here very light a little 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 bit then I have banana here it has I'm using um, 
Liquid Original for my medium to make it more flow, uh, better flowing on the surface. I'm painting on a wooden surface, wooden board. I really love to do that and I just recently last week finished uh, pansies on a canvas which I didn't primed and I really don't enjoy painting on a canvas because of those little flaws in surface I really like very smooth surface I don't need to think of filling the gaps which uh, any canvas has And I really enjoy smooth surface, as in uh, with watercolors and the same with oils. The smoothness and paint applied to the smooth surface is amazing, really enjoyable to work. smoothing out no sharp edges comparing one part to other which is darkest darker which is lighter I can see that this feel is the darkest so I need to make it darker than these are and I think this part for the peel is darkest and this is not so dark lighter but still quite dark compared to this one Tonal values is best, uh, very good to understand when you are comparing one, one piece of the object to the other, which is darker or which is lighter. That's how you can manage properly what is what and And don't go straight too dark. You can add more pigment as you go. Slowly, better to slowly build your tonal values so you can understand. I have here a darker part here which is right after the curve and this part is also darker and this one is darker and as I can see that this one is also edge darker than I did it This is quite dark. This is the edge of, of, of this peel. It's completely in the shadow. So I'm also making it quite dark. 
I'm not worrying about some details, some smudges. It's oils, it's different as watercolors, so I will also be painting background, which will also cover some little minor mistakes of the edges. Peel has here a curve, so there is some light and dark smoothing. But that part is darker. Carefully adding to the edge. Smoothing. And here is darker. Comparing. All the time looking at my reference and comparing this to this, this to this. Which one is darker, lighter? That's how is realistic approach achieved by comparing, looking, examining, as well as here at the end also is a little curve towards bananas, so it also has a little tonal shift to the dark. Now we understand that this peel has its curve from shadow to light and again to shadow. Then I can see that this part is also in the shadow a little bit, not so much. We'll adjust that later. And then I have other peel which is on here a little bit visible and it's coming a little edge is coming out and there is a little bit of that peel as well which is lighter than this one And then here I need a little smoothing and I need to make this part darker. It goes behind this peel so it's darker like that. Nicely done. This is almost exposed everything to light, but still has a little bit of shadow area here. And I can see that this is darker and then it shifts here, goes darker. Smoothing. Then I have some a little bit here and this one is with some texture which will be colored with colors. Wealth. And a little bit of slight shift is here. And this part is also a little bit darker. And a little bit edge. So these minor things are important to achieve realistic look that the object which you are working on is 
three-dimensional on a flat surface so with all those lights and darks that's how you achieve that also a little shift of shadow I can see here it's a very light so I'm really smoothing it out so it don't contrast with the shadow part and I think I need to make shadow darker yes I definitely need to make that darker because now it looks flat light light and shadow and no darker notions like that and then i think there's some really really minor half tones here and that will be exposed to light but i need a little shift because that goes i think it's quite good maybe this edge is too too strong and too straight it doesn't look it doesn't appear like that in a real banana and i need some smoothing here and i need some adjustments underneath this curve like that Especially in the darker part, in the fur further from me part. Okay, now I think I can make, I can color the background, which will be Now I will cover background with the same burnt sienna to give a tone to my board I'm not sure quite now what color will be background but it will be dark it will be dark and so I will give it a tone with burnt sienna it looks now totally done uh, finished underpainting 
I will leave it to dry till tomorrow. It will completely dry thanks to Liquid Original, which uh, fastens the drying process. You can finish like this if you like. Maybe somebody likes monochrome paintings, or you can go further uh, to the second part where will be applied colors and banana will be more like a banana. See you in second part who wants to continue and good luck to you who would like to finish like this. Maybe you like monochrome draw paintings. Good for you. Okay, thank you for watching this. Bye.